Birmingham is the UK's premier typographic city. Home to John Baskerville, writing master, stone carver, type founder, printer, and creator of Baskerville, the world's most well-known and enduring typeface. Birmingham's claim to typographic fame doesn't simply lie with the bones of Baskerville. For three centuries, the spirit of this typographic mastermind survived in one of our most widely used and historically important typefaces. A local hero with a worldwide reputation who made 18th century Birmingham a city without typographic equal, changing the course of type design and emancipating printers the world over. A flamboyant man with a colourful character. Baskerville was an unrelenting doer. He was an inspired businessman, an arch nonconformist, who excelled in a city populated by political, religious and industrial dissenters. A confirmed atheist who flouted convention, he lived with his lover dressed like a peacock and conducted his life and death as if it were a performance. Baskerville started his work designing headstones and teaching writing at a local school. But Baskerville wanted to be rich and so started a Japanning business, a process for covering decorated metals with varnish by which he earned an early fortune. With his prosperity secured, Baskerville returned to his first love, letters. He not only designed a typeface, he also experimented with casting and setting type, improved the construction of the printing press, developed a new kind of paper and refined the quality of printing inks. Baskerville's unique purple-black ink used soot from glass pinchers lamps. His paper's distinctive glaze came from hot pressing, a process probably taken from a technique used in Japanning. And his improvements to the printing press made his work more accurate and consistent, more precise and perfect, than any printed work previously produced. Baskerville was a respected figure amongst a coterie of experimenters who made up Birmingham's Lunar Society. Bolton, Murdoch, Priestley, Watt and Wedgwood. A self-taught man who combined a passion for knowledge with a quest for perfection, Baskerville had the ability to achieve anything to which he set his mind. But Baskerville is best known for the typeface that bears his name. There can be few who have not seen his face, but most don't know how to recognise it. It's 250 years since Baskerville's typeface was first meticulously printed in a series of remarkable publications that included the groundbreaking Virgil and the Cambridge Bible. His use of type was exemplary, his pressmanship remarkable, and his page layout revolutionary in its simplicity. It was a defining moment in typography, ridding it of the irrelevant decoration beloved of Baskerville's contemporaries. Baskerville's typeface spawned imitators across Europe. His layouts were copied around the world, and his pressmanship set new standards for printers everywhere. When Baskerville died, Pierre Beaumarchais, 
French politician, publisher and revolutionary, bought the original Baskerville punches, from which he printed in their entirety the banned works of Voltaire. Baskerville's French connection persisted, with a typeface inspiring the work of the revolution. Following the French Revolution, Baskerville's punches were passed around various French type foundries until they found their way to de Bernic and Peigneux. Almost 150 years later, Stevenson, Blake and Sheffield started a Baskerville revival, triggering the release of new Baskerville fonts by almost every type manufacturer in the world thereafter. John Baskerville spent a fortune in opulence and a lifetime of genius in carrying to perfection the greatest of all human inventions. His typographic experiments put him years ahead of his time and he did much to progress the industry of his day. Unlike anyone else before or since, John Baskerville was the complete typographer. A man who had something individual to say and the courage to say it and to say it persistently. And by doing so, he gave the world one of the most useful, beautiful and long-lived typefaces.